Welcome to the Te Atatū Peninsula in Auckland, New Zealand. Early this afternoon, I was out at a local beach with a good friend. She mentioned this viewing point over the city. So we pulled up here, had a look, and I thought, spectacular. <laughs> so later on, I've come back down here with the idea just to photograph sunset and blow hour over the city. While I'm sat here, a guy pulled up, started playing about with their cameras in the back of his car, and he said to me, he says, are you here to shoot the moon over the city? I says, well, not in particular, mate. I'm just here to get blow hour sort of thing, you know what I mean? And then he starts showing me all these photographs that he's got of moonrise over Sky Tower. Mind-blowing. And he said to me, he says, you are in the right position for a shot tonight at 6.20 when the moon rises over Sky Tower. How lucky is that? I mean, how lucky is that? From sunset and blow hour shot, I'm now going to get potentially a stunning shot of the moon over Sky Tower. It wasn't on my radar at all, so uh, hey, divine intervention, whatever. I'm here in the right place. Cannot wait for this evening. All right, we're going to shoot it with the Canon 1DX. I've got the 70 to 200 f2.8 lens on. So we're going to shoot initially with this, but I've also, for a longer shot, for a tighter shot, I've got the Canon 300mm 2.8. So that's just going to draw it in nice and tight. And I think it's going to make some spectacular shots. Now, obviously, I'm expecting now some other photographers coming down here to get this shot this evening. Uh, so it could get busy. It could be interesting. Uh, looking forward to it. What I'm going to do in the meantime is just sit here and pop off a few shots. Clouds are coming in and out, bands of rain coming in and out. I've already got a nice shot of a rainbow over the city, so that looks quite nice. And we'll just see how the situation develops and, and go from there. Let's just stay, have a look. see so many photographers. Yeah. Isn't it? It's good to see so many around. Right? Yeah. Now, unfortunately, the best laid plans of mice and men came crashing down and a big band of cloud rolled in totally obscuring the moonrise over Sky Tower. I was in place, everybody else was in place. Unfortunately, the clouds were in place as well, so uh, that kind of scuppered it. So as, as we're leading up to moonrise, I popped off a few shots here and there, a couple of sunset shots, which you know, which cast some nice light onto the city. That looked quite nice. And then a few shots as the moon's trying to rise past the, past the clouds. And then eventually, obviously, the moon did clear the cloud bank and um, you know, I, the, the photographs are okay. Uh, I'm quite happy with them. Better than I expected at the start of play because I didn't even expect that, to be honest. So I got more than I bargained for, but less than I'd actually hoped for, <laughs> which uh, yeah, that's, just, uh, that's just photography, isn't it? You know what I mean? You can't have everything. But the photographs I did get, I was quite pleased with. I took most of the shots with a 300mm 2.8. Then a little bit later, I put the 70 to 200 on just to get a more expansive shot of the city and the Harbour Bridge and uh, made that into like a panoramic strippy sort of shot. And, uh, and I quite like that. So listen, the upshot is, uh, you know, from going out with the intention of shooting a blow hour shot to getting a moonrise shot, quite enjoyable. Met some lovely people, some cracking photographers out there who were looking at the work. We've kind of exchanged Instagrams and Facebooks and, and YouTube things and, and all that sort of malarkey. So uh, we'll, we'll keep in touch. Hope you enjoyed this wee ramble and hope to see you next time when I get the old twin lens reflex back out. I give it a little bit of a renovation and get out for a shoot and uh, hopefully, hopefully, we make some nice photographs with that beautiful film camera. All right, until next time, catch you later.
Your heart was here 